Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to determine the lowest structure for XeO3 having a chemical name of xenon trioxide. So to determine its structure, we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons followed by the arrangement of atoms in this molecule. Xenon here has 8 valence electrons in its outer shell and oxygen has 6 valence electrons in its outer shell but as there are 3 atoms over here, we are going to multiply this number by 3 which gives us 26 valence electrons for this molecule. Now we will place xenon in the center and all the oxygen atoms will be placed around it like this. To show a bond formation, we are going to place a pair of electrons between each oxygen and xenon atom. Doing that, we will be using up 6 valence electrons out of 26 and we will try to place rest of the electrons around, other, uh, around the atoms to complete their octates. Doing that, we will place 6 valence electrons around each oxygen atom as it already has 2 valence electrons and the remaining electrons that are 6 into 3, we will be using up 18 more electrons which means we are just left with 2 electrons that will be placed on xenon as it only has 6 valence electrons. Now you might think that this is the most accepted and relevant lowest structure for xenon trioxide but hold on. Let's check the formal charges for this molecule and find out if this is really the lowest structure that we can move forward with. So, for calculating the formal charges, you can either use this formula or we have also linked our formal charges calculator down in the descri description box. For oxygen, uh, as you can see, there are 6 valence electrons. The non-bonding uh, non valence electrons are 6 and the bonding electrons are 2. So, the charges on oxygen atom will be minus 1. All right. And for xenon, it would be 8 minus 2 minus 6 by 2, which gives, us, gives it a charge of plus 3. So, uh, each oxygen atom will have a charge of minus 1 over here, whereas the non will have a charge of plus 3 over here. Now, generally in Lewis structure, we tend to come up with a structure in which atoms have charges as near to, uh, as near to 0 as possible. Okay, so here what we are going to do is we are going to uh, form three triple bonds to balance out this plus three over here and to make it zero. We are going to form three double bonds by uh, shifting a pair of electrons from oxygen atoms in between the xenon and oxygen atoms. So we will start by doing this. We are going to move these electrons over here, this one over here and even this one over here. Doing that now we have three double bonds and after that you can also calculate the formal charges to check if this is the correct structure for xenon trioxide. Now oxygen has six valence electrons out of which four are non-bonding and four are bonding giving it a total charge of zero. Xenon has eight valence electrons there are two non-bonding uh, non electrons and there are 12 bonding pairs of electrons which gives us a total charge of zero. So here all these atoms have a formal charge of zero and hence this is the lowest structure for xenon trioxide. Remember to check the formal charges for all atoms when you are not confident about the structure because at, at first it might seem that the lowest structure that we had come up with earlier might be the correct one but calculating the formal charges we got to know that due to, this formal, due to the formal charges that was present in the previous structure it was not relevant. So always make sure to calculate the formal charges when you are in doubt and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.